Hi, I'm Alicia Malone. Thanks for joining us on TCM today. We're remembering the life and work of Sidney Poitier, who died on January the 6th at the age of 94. In addition to being an incredible actor, Poitier was a passionate civil rights activist and his unique ability to show sensitivity and strength simultaneously is what made his work on screen and off so powerful. That is on full display in the movie we have coming up next, one that challenges racial boundaries right in the middle of the civil rights movement. From MGM in 1965, Sidney Poitier stars in A Patch of Blue. It's the story of a blind 18-year-old woman, played by newcomer Elizabeth Hartman, and a man she meets at the park, played by Poitier. The colour of their skin doesn't matter at all to them, but it matters a great deal to their families. When producer Pandra Berman began to work on A Patch of Blue, he knew Poitier would be perfect for the lead. At the time, Poitier was not only the most prominent black actor in America, he was rapidly becoming the country's most prominent young actor, period, thanks to standout performances in movies like No Way Out, Edge of the City, The Defiant Ones, which brought him his first Oscar nomination, A Raisin in the Sun and Paris Blues, all of which culminated with a Best Actor Oscar for Lilies of the Field from 1963. A Patch of Blue was another success. The movie received five Oscar nominations, including Best Actress for Hartman and Best Supporting Actress for Shelley Winters, who won for her memorable performance as Hartman's racist mother. From 1965, directed by Guy Green and also with Wallace Ford and Ivan Dixon, here is Sidney Poitier in A Patch of Blue. In addition to five Oscar nominations, A Patch of Blue was also a big hit at the box office, including in the South, where movies with interracial relationships were still considered taboo and in some states illegal. Though the producers did bow to the realities of the Southern market in one way, they cut out the brief kiss between Sidney Poitier and Elizabeth Hartman in the prints that screened in the South. But truthfully, the taboos went beyond just the South. Sidney Poitier later said he was enormously frustrated by the time he finished A Patch of Blue. He was despondent over the lack of romantic leading roles Hollywood offered him. There had been a few, most notably Paris Blues, opposite Diane Carroll, but Poitier took matters into his own hands with one of his first films as a director, the 1973 romance A Warm December with Esther Anderson. All right, don't go away because Jacqueline Stewart will be here after the break to continue our February salute to Black History Month. And up next, it's Ava DuVernay's powerful 2014 drama starring David Oyelowo.